Hey what's up guys welcome to Tech Tips today we are answering queries regarding the GPS issue in the Amaze Fit watches so if you ever bought the Amaze Fit watch or if you are planning to buy one you will see there is a lot of negativity about the GPS in the uh, below 10000 rupees smart watches and that's because th those reviewers never used it outdoors or if they have used it they found trouble getting the GPS signal because they didn't follow the instructions in the manual So I have read the instructions manual. I'm using this for almost four to five months now, and I have done a lot of activities. If you if you go here, so the combination of Strava challenges with the diet control, I was able to lose around 12 kgs in four months. And I have done a lot of activities, and these all are GPS activities. So I've used GPS very nicely, as you can see. You can see where you went. You can see the stats in detail. And if you have this GPS enabled, and if you have Strava Sync enabled, these data is also available in your Strava app which is very much useful so first of all if you try indoors it won't work in the manual itself it is mentioned that you need to be uh, in line of sight with the satellite so this is a satellite gps this is not your mobile gps uh, which uses the combination of mobile data wi-fi but it uses the combination of the satellite gps the sony chipset gps chipset which is inside the amazfit watch light as well as the amazfit watches so first of all when you're starting uh, activity probably i have the shortcut here so it started catching the signal and you need to be in line of sight with the satellite which is probably up in the sky so be there where there's an open sky uh, i tried uh, probably uh, like there's a lot of buildings in between it might take a little bit to catch the signal but it will catch so as you can see this is right now uh, i'm showing live how much time it takes to catch the signal now because i'm in open space it will catch the signal very much all you have to do is just be steady don't move much just be steady and wait for the signal to catch now this is probably the rain has started so there is clouds in the sky uh, so the GPS signal gonna be a little bit weaker so this is the perfect test of the GPS and whenever I want to do workout what I do is stand in a single place in the open ground and start the GPS and within a minute it catches the signal there are some times like this right now it doesn't catch the signal but as you can see it catches the signal don't get to move, move fasten the band to, to have the more accurate data so make sure it's not loose and you can basically start your workout and you have gps signal now i found a lot of people just start it as soon as they start a workout what will happen it it will start the workout without the gps signal and then it will catch it but that gps signal is kind of weak and it loses so if you started to work out I, I one there was a one time where I run five uh, like I jog five kilometers and it showed me 2.5 because the GPS signal was only 2.5. So in watch it my showed it showed five kilometers but in the Strava app it showed 2.5 kilometers. So make sure you wait you turn you wait for this to turn orange and this GPS signal to be full and then you start the signal and you won't find any issue. Now in this case it was fast enough because in open ground but if you're in between the buildings it will be slow but have patience it works and the best part about this is always once in a week sync with the amazfit app because i found that uh, it has something called a gps syncing so apart from syncing the watch it syncs the a gps probably with the sony chips chipset uh, maybe it's required to have coordinates data so it syncs that and it it works flawlessly because when you get an error like say gps signal not found it gives it asks you to pair in sync with your amazfit uh, the, the the app which is i think which is called as zap app so um, i don't use it because the everything data is right on your screen so that's good and as well as uh, i have tried multiple times so these thing works and even if you start walking in open ground and try to catch the signal i would say 70 percent of time it works there was some time where it didn't work so i would suggest you to wait in a place catch the signal and then start your workout uh, you will probably enjoy it because it won't get lost and let me try to see if i can get the data uh, where my signal is lost so probably this is what the, the data looks like now it's probably outdoors so it's not visible that much uh, but see actually done the r full round it didn't catch the signal in between this is this is I think 5% of times and 95% of time it works so again it's a, it's a cheap chipset 
uh, and it catches via satellite it's not your mobile or wi-fi because your mobile uses combination of gps chipset the wi-fi as well as internet and this is just using the gps signal so have patience wait in a single place catch the signal fasten the band you will get the signal so that's pretty much for this short tech tips video if you like this video give a thumbs up subscribe to the tech show if you haven't already but well, i will catch you in the next video bye bye now happy you enjoy your workouts outdoors